Ken the Surf's here, and it's time for a weekend shave. I hope your week has gone great. I, uh, I had a lot of fun uh, working in the man cave. I've got my uh, Twilight Zone uh, machine working real well. It's a lot of work on that thing, though. No, 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 don't think of it as work. The whole point is just to enjoy yourself. Well, let me tell you, uh, it sure does pay off. And we are back in the shave den, and I have... Man, I haven't made a shave video since Monday. So it's uh, going to be a nice one today. In fact, I'm going to include a few items. This is going to be a leaf shave today. I'm going to preview that new uh, leaf razor, which uh, uses the standard double-edged blades. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing in a few minutes of it and get all set up to shave with it. Uh, I had a nice mail call. I Actually, I'm going to be traveling again this month. I'm going to go on a summer vacation before my daughter goes back to school. And I want to thank uh, one of the viewers. Uh, Jimmy shaves a lot. He says that he doesn't travel very much anymore. And he knows that since I travel, maybe I should have like a portable little shave bowl. So he got me a really nice, nice plastic shave bowl that I can be bringing on my uh, travels. Uh, so I don't have to worry about uh, shaving or you know, the, the soap when I'm out there. So in fact, I might use this today with a little grapefruit from Taylor of Old Bond Street. And then I've been using uh, a, a range leather travel bag, but I got a really nice shave bag today. And you're not gonna forget this. Uh, I'm gonna try not to crack up when I uh, tell you the name of this company, but uh, I'll just show it to you. Nutsack. Uh, made in the USA, and I have not opened this yet, but this is a, uh, a bag, a, shave, a travel kit that I'm going to use uh, for my shaving equipment. So I'm going to open this up. Man, there's a couple of unboxings today, or unbagging. So this is the Nutsack travel bag. Comes with a cool, uh, cool decal there. Very durable. It's got, oh, damn, leather smells good. It's leather and canvas. I'm gonna be using this for my, my shaving on this trip. And what's nice is it has a separate compartment that I might be able to keep my blades and everything in so uh, they're not just running around loose in there. So uh, I will let you know how this goes when I uh, get back from my vacation, but uh, Thanks to the folks at Nutsack for, and I don't know if this is actually available yet. It's so cool getting these items before they come out. They have a bunch of bags. They have uh, computer bags, handbags, all these bags. But uh, I think they don't have this on their site yet, but I could be wrong. And they have uh, all different colors. But uh, I'll put their information on the uh, description of this video. So you guys, uh, I encourage them, go check it out. Especially if you, you know, traveling and... Uh, just check that bag. Don't put your razor blades in it because if you flew, you know, uh, they're not going to let you in the plane on the plane with some DE blades. All right. Well, I'm going to be getting set up for this uh, shave today by request, a horsehair brush. And when I'm doing that, let me take you over into the uh, kitchen and we'll do an unboxing of the Leaf razor. All right. So we got the package from Leaf Shave from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So I have not opened this yet. Somebody said, can I do an unboxing of it? So we'll see what we can do here. Got my trusty Benchmade 710 out. Let's see. All right. Got a nice little uh, invoice here. Start here, leaf shave, gives you uh, the instructions, preparing your blades, turning these into these. Simply snap it in half, look at this. Simply snap the DE blade in half, which is done safely while the blade is still in individual packaging paper wrap. They're made for this. Squeeze between the thumbs and forefingers until they completely in half. Well, very good, so that way I can use my own uh, blades if I want to and I do believe they come with some 
Ah, they do, but you have to snap them in half. So in that case, I'm gonna be using my own blades today. If I've gotta snap them in half anyway. And what do we have here? Oh, there's Mr. Monty waiting for the mailman. instructions. I just... Good. It won't fall out. It's got a safety on it. Look at that. Will not fall out. Oh, good. So you can put your one blade in if you want. Then a second blade on top. Or where... Wait. One blade. Two blade. Three blade. So for you, those of you who cannot use a safety razor, but you want to maybe use inexpensive blades or use your favorite blades, this isn't a bad deal. So I'm going to be loading this up. In fact, I'm going to pause this a second and go get a couple of blades. Be right back. All right, we have the Gillette Wilkinson sword here. So let's see if it's as easy as they say. Fold it between my finger. Keep it in the pack. Ah, <laughs> I'm going cautious. Well, snapped right away. Right down the middle. Look at that. All right, let's see if I can load this in here. Glad I'm doing this on the table, not in the shave den. <laughs> Shouldn't have set these on the ground. All right, hard to do this with the camera at the same time. Come on. Uh, got a little lip on it. Oh, that's how. Okay, that's how. Trial and error. Look at that. She lines up nice. Maybe we'll try it with just the two today. So it doesn't really matter if you have the little lip on the outside here. Because, uh... It's not going to interfere with the locking of the blade, which is nice. And that locks it into place. And there. I have a Gillette Wilkinson sword. Double edge. Now I notice the first blade, the lower blade, see it's a little more aggressive than the blade above it. A little less blade sticking out. So this one's going to bite the first, and then this one will bite the second. Well, I'll have to try this real cautious, because it can either go real good, or I can have twice the trouble. So, back to the shade den. All right, there you have it. Pretty cool. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have loaded the top. I loaded from the bottom up. I probably should have loaded from the top, because getting under the nose is probably going to be difficult, but I've got some good growth, so we'll see how it does. In the meantime, let's get this shave started. I'm going to take some of the soap. I'm going to put it into the shave bowl. Now that stuff's nice and soft, but it's sticking to me like crazy. Got the uh, horsehair brush soaking. A lot of you are uh, liking the horsehair brushes, and Vi Long has them, and you know, there's a lot of them out there. And you know they take that from the mane and the tail of the horse, so there's no animal cruelty involved or anything. So uh, for those of you who are really conscientious about that, which is a, a good thing, you know I might put a little prep pre-shave on too. 
kind of a, a lot of growth there. I'm going to visit my sister today. She's going over to my brother's house. He has a man cave too with a lot of pinball machines and uh, some of her friends that moved from California up to Oregon and Washington uh, many years ago are in town visiting her again. So they're going to be over there and I said I would stop by. Holy cow, that whips up very quick. Jimmy, good call because there's a lot of, uh, it's kind of rough in there. So that really is whipping up that ladder. And if you can't get a good ladder with Taylor of Old Bond Street, I saw the spy who dumped me last night with my wife. Went out on a date night. Oh, look at that. And this holds really well. I don't know what brand this is. It's nameless, but uh, sure does work. So if you guys know what brand that is, see there's no markings on it. Hell, even if it's a soap dish, I just know it works great as a shave bowl. All right. Wow. Let's try this for the first time. Oh, it pivots too. Look at that. Nice. So you can apply a little pressure. Oh. <laughs> So this is a no-brainer for people who cannot use a safety razor or who want to use a cartridge-style razor but not pay cartridge-style prices. Yeah, that spring action works good. See that? I'm actually giving a lot of pressure more than I would with a safety razor. Now I'm sure on this, I don't need two passes on this, but I will do it. But here's where it's gonna be an issue, I bet. See, I didn't get, quite get a lot up there, but when I do that sideways, I probably am gonna get it, the second pass. I know Steve Davidson out there, he, uh, he uses cartridge razors because he's got the sensitive skin and uh, he cuts himself real bad in irritation with the safety razors, but he does use straights, straight razors, but hey, this would work pretty good, Steve. I'm actually to the point of I'm trying to cut myself to see if I see if it will, but it's not. Damn. Now, I'm not used to that because this, you know, the Atras that I use, uh, the vintage Atras, the head is so small compared. See, so I can get right up underneath the nose with that, but with a little bit of trial and error, I should be able to figure this one out. metering off that uh come on here we go it's metering off the uh shave cream i'm just not used to applying so much pressure kind of nervous to do that but i'm really pushing on that can you see that and it is cutting close
with zero, zero nicks. Now you've got some serrations under the handle there, so that's making it nice for my thumb to grip. They put a lot of thought into this. I should have loaded the top and then, like I said, I would have had a little... easier time. Okay, so it just left a tiny bit right there. Let me see if I can take my time and clean that up. Okay. Very quiet feedback on it. No cuts on my neck. It's a heavy head. See, it's trying to flip this way. I really do not think you need to do two passes with this razor. Hear that feedback? Okay, I left a little under the chin. there. Very nice. Let's see. So you could have like a Gillette Atra, or Track 2 Dual Shave, or you could use a single blade. So it's either like a single edge razor, a dual, or a three. Now look, I can't have soap behind my ears now. Hear it out there? Wow. Squeaky clean. Hear that? Squeaky clean. An old favorite. Man, I was actually pressing really hard on the skin there and no cuts. Don't try to cut yourself. Uh, wasn't the goal there, but I'd rather me cut myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wow. It is a close shave because that is burning. Wow, wow, wow. Whew. Whew. Wow. All right. I'm going to have to try this with three. So I'll have to break two blades. But absolutely no complaints, gents. Ooh, tiny, tiny tiny weeper there. So you can cut yourself if you try hard enough. Have a great weekend, everybody. I look forward to uh, seeing you all again soon. I'll be doing an away shave in uh, about 10 days. Uh, we're going up to uh, Lake Tahoe, so I will uh, maybe get some uh, background up there. Great place to go if you're ever visiting California. I mean, if you want to see the mountains, the clear lakes, the, uh, the gambling. And it's a lot cooler than Las Vegas, temperature-wise. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you a couple of more times before that, though. Until next time, it's Ken Surf saying thank you very much for your subscriptions, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you real soon.